Hey Christian, so I created two small test files that look like this, so we should see it in a second. One like that, which sort of represents your French and an English. That hopefully represents your English like that. Um, notice that I actually put, I don't know what's in your file, I put tabs between here. You could do it with whatever it is between there, but you need to know what kind of space it is really to be able to do it properly. I use tabs because most people who use numbering incorrectly in Word at least know how to use a tab key. So that's probably what they did. Now, what I'll do is I'll do it from scratch. So I'll align a single file pair. So I'm going to create a new TM for this. You can use an existing one if you've got one. I haven't got one here, so I'm going to create a new one. French to English, which looks about right. Let's call it French to English. Uh, I'll just finish it for the time being, first of all, just so we, I can sh just validate the problem first. So French to English. I want to finish it. The out of the bottom box settings give me this. So the numbers with a full stop, they're going to be segmented because the default segmentation rules should handle that okay. And if they didn't, I guess you created a rule for it and you, you managed to achieve that, that's okay. The problem is this side, because this is not being segmented because there's no default that knows what to do with that. So what I'm gonna do, don't save that, and align the documents again. This time I'm gonna add the translation memory I just created. <coughs> Then click on the settings, go to my language resources, segmentation rules, oops, sorry, change the language to English because I want to change the English rules. Go to segmentation rules and edit. I'm going to add another one and I'll call this the, uh, what should we call it? Bracketed numbers. Now before the break, I actually want to use uh, a regular expression for this really. That's weird, I don't know where I haven't got anything in there. That's really weird, why can't I edit that? Bracketed numbers. Okay, well I'm gonna put, ah, this way. So I'll put XXX in there. We'll call it a regular expression. i break characters, I'm actually gonna break on the tab. Maybe that's part of where you're going wrong and then I'll just put anything after the break. Then I'm going to click on the advanced view. And the reason I do that is because sometimes Studio has a funny habit of breaking your, your regex rules when you switch to the advanced, advanced view. So if I put XXX, I can identify it easily when I go to the advanced view and then I can write in there what I really want. And what I really want to put in this case is I want to pick up the bracketed number. So I need to go for a backslash bracket because I have to escape the bracket because it has a special meaning in regular expressions as you know and backslash D plus for a number because maybe they're going to get greater than two digits I don't know and then a backslash close the bracket I've already got the tab there and then a plus and so that should all be okay and I click on okay there and then okay there and hopefully that will do the trick I hope so because I'm doing this on the fly quite quickly so French open and then my target file is my, whoop, my English and open. And when I finish with any luck, there we go. We get it aligned perfectly. So I guess that's what you're trying to do. Hopefully the video will help you. I hope so.